I want to talk about the bad things of this printer. I want to do a simple unboxing, see what this printer is all about. I want to share my experience printing with this printer and how I hate the slicer that comes with <laughs> With this printer too so remember this is a sculpting channel but i do 3d print so let's start and you can see how huge is the box if you have been following my videos i have a hollowed one that is a tiny tiny printer the screen broke that's why i'm getting a new one of course in the future i'm gonna fix that one probably but for sure i wasn't used something that big i want to let you know that i'm creating a video talking about my experience of buying this printer i also cancel an order and it's a little bit of a nightmare or could have been but i want to share my experience just if sometimes you want to order a printer you know what will happen so i'm going to upload that with this video so just check that out it will be in the description but now that we have our printer out of the box one thing that i have to say is the box that i put on the side a lot of people think that uh, it's only to protect the printer and they don't care about that box that box is so important so don't throw it away just pay attention and keep it you'll see in a minute why one cool thing about this printer that you can just push this cover and you can go inside your printer i'm gonna remove this styrofoam i have this box that it was heavy so just be careful of course i'm showing you and otherwise i would have been in front and i would have seen the box but uh, it was really heavy and scared me for a second but uh, after that we can see we have this huge plate this bed is amazing it has cool design it has a plastic to protect it and now we have that we can see our vat i have to say when i remove this part underneath the vat you don't see it but i it scared me a little bit too because it went down really hard hopefully nothing got damaged but um that's the cool thing about this sprint that the vat goes up and down and that's supposed to make it faster so a lot of people really complain about this cover because it's really cool I think it's great that you can just push it. Now, a lot of people complain about this system for two things. One, I've seen some uh, YouTubers that um, the cover didn't stay, completely went down. For me, you can see that it stays no matter in which place I put it. Another downside is that a lot of people wish they have handles because it's not that easy. You have really to push it with two hands to be able to, to move it top. It has that kind of design that you can just push with your fingers and that could be useful. But one of the things is that when you're working with resin and everything, you can have maybe one glove in one hand and you can be moving things around. It would be amazing if you can only do it with one hand. Another thing that some people say, you don't see it in my printer that much, but it's there. And that is that is there's some lines on the cover. This protective plastic, it looks like it wasn't done the best way. Some people did agree that it looks like cheap or that it's just not new so just have in mind that you can have those lines in mind you can barely see it but because i know they exist i can see them but now let's see what is in the boxes in the boxes we have just the energy cable and we have this huge box that i say this is the most important one this is just a kind of container that goes on top of the bat and this will help you because like i mentioned before this printer the vat goes up and down you don't want any resin in between the vat and uh, the printer no like i mentioned before my hollowed one i put too many times resin on the screen and probably that's why i broke but uh this one probably fixing it it will be even harder they don't give you free things so they really make it because you need it <laughs> So now we're going to check the box. This one, like I mentioned before, it was heavy. I was so surprised. So we have a, it comes with a glove, which is really useful, with a bag with some tools, so you are able to unscrew your bat and clean it. You have the other part of the power cord, just to be able to plug in your printer. You have a spatula that are really, really sharp, and I'm going to talk about that at the end. You have some filters, which is really, really useful. You have some masks, so that's great. You have another spatula. This one is plastic. That is not that aggressive to your piece. You have also this antenna, because remember that this printer, you, you can connect it to the internet to monitor the camera that is on this printer. But it has a cover, so make sure that uh, you take it out before doing any, any printing. It also comes with a USB and a card. I have to say that, the USB has two programs that have the Cheeto Box and it has the Cheeto Box Pro. 
this card like anything nowadays is subscription based so if you want one the professional one i thought that they will give you the program but of course not this card allowed you to have like a six month subscription i believe and after that you have to pay so just have that in mind and i love this just a simple system that is just a clip and like i mentioned before with one hand you can just take off the bed that's just amazing how many times you have to use both hands to screw and to be able to take it and I love it. I love it. Now let's go to see the side. A lot of people complain where they put things. I don't mind. In my case, it doesn't bother me. You have the power, you have the switch, you have the USB, and you have this antenna for the internet. So now it's time to print. I put my resin printer in a place where it's in the corner right here. Kind of these cubes hiding from the sun. Have a window on this side, but uh, it's kind of protected. So that way it's in that place. It's where I used to have my older print. The only thing is that it's a little bit small. It's going to give me some problems and you'll see in a moment. But definitely I put it there. I turn it on. I was scared because for a second nothing happened. No, in my other printer, I press the switch. Maybe after a second, you can see the logo. And then you can see the settings and start printing and all that stuff. Here, five seconds later, and, I, and the screen was black. So I was like... Something happened, it's not turned it on. So I just went and when I was going to check if it was plugging correctly and everything, I could see the logo and then five seconds later, I was able to see the settings. The settings, not going to really talk about much because they're really simple. They're really, has a really nice UI, really easy to read. I have to say that even if the screen is really tiny, it's even tinier than my hallowed one, I believe. It's really easy to use. I love it. And one of the only settings that I want to talk about that is your calibration file. It comes with the Rook. It comes with actually on the USB a folder with all the chase pieces from a Lego. And probably I'm going to print them because it looks like they're really cool. But one thing that, that is important is that they have the option to print four, six, or eight prints with different exposure. And you can tell the printer which exposure you want for each individual print. The only problem is that you will think, this is a really smart printer. The camera is supposed to detect when you can detect when you have too much resin, when you have fails. It can detect many things. We will be able just to grab one rook and it will multiply it and print it and give you all the tests. It doesn't work that way. The way it works is that you have to create your own file. You have to make sure that if you want the four, it has four pieces. If you have the six, if you have the eight, it has all those pieces. And to make sure that they don't go close to each other so it can understand that uh is exposure that you want so that was a little bit disappointed but no a deal breaker because this printer is actually amazing like i mentioned before i was going to talk about things that i don't like so that was pretty much just the cover because i'm loving everything to be honest usually you're supposed to before printing to connect it to the internet it has a tiny keyboard that you can try to see if you can put your password it will do an update it's pretty much that way i didn't do it i saw someone that I printed out of the box and then when they did the updates it started failing and doing weird things I wanted to make sure to create this video and be able to print that's why I didn't do the update also cheat the box that is the one that comes on the USB I tried to use it I used it a long time ago and uh, just maybe I'm not familiar I don't want to say that it's really bad because probably it's not probably it's just me that I don't know how to use it but for me it was so hard to move my piece freely to navigate to be able to erase and just supports and do things like that that uh it was kind of frustrating so what i did was just out of support which i'm not a big fan sometimes it could work but i'm not a big fan because usually they put support on the faces in places that you don't want to but i like just let's do it so i put out of support i slice the file and i took it to the printer completely without putting any settings any exposure time anything nothing at all completely as a, a new person would do it i printed one of the cool interferes that i like 
is that uh, you see a circle kind of is working and you can see the percentage. You can see from one to a hundred how the process of printing is going. And it has a line too that is telling you that, but also it has a tiny time, like how many hours has passed or how many hours are left. But they're so tiny. I don't know if I'm getting old or, but I have really to get close and uh, just so tiny. Instead of the percentage, the time, that's not that important. I love the interface. And I send that to print. I choose the fast setting because you can choose slow or fast. I put the fast setting, I print it, and it was amazing. My print came out. I have to say, like I say, it has a camera. It has a lot of features, this printer that you're supposed to know when things fail. I didn't have that experience. I did have some Beetlejuice house that I wanted to print to do a diorama. So I just love the movie. I haven't seen the second one yet, but I will soon. It fell. And I was like, why? Cheeto Box told me that everything was fine. It is like a box, so something would have print, nothing printed at all, nothing. So I was not disappointed because he printed everything else and he didn't stop. So I was happy about that. I, I have a fail, so let's clean it. There's so many ways to clean a vat. I have a lot of people asking me how you clean a vat, really simple. But this time I use a new technique. And basically you, every single printer has a cleaning option where you just send the whole UV light to the whole screen. So you have this square that is printed that you can just take off and completely you're going to be able to clean it. So that's what I did. But now I cannot give credit to the right person because I saw many videos, but pretty much I use an old support, place it inside of that with, without removing it yet, of course. And I think one of them, I didn't put it down completely all the way to the bottom because when I press it and when uh, it was curing that first layer, it never kind of fuse with that layer, but the first one did. In my other printer, it will just press clean. The light will be on like a minute and it will stop. With this one, you have control to, to tell how long you want that light to be on. So I think that's pretty cool. I removed my vat. I put back the resin into the bottle, of course, using the filters. You don't want any tiny piece on the bottle. The cure resin, I was able just to pull it off like nothing. It was so fast. It was amazing how I didn't have a lot of resin. So I just clean it up and start printing again. So when I printed again, I was so disappointed with Cheeto Box that I decided to use my favorite slicer. It's called Leech. This free version that I love allowed me to move my pieces like I wanted. I mean, I just know how to use it. But one of the things that I want to mention is that uh, I try again to do the Beetlejuice house and I was just completely surprised how right away it showed me that I has too many holes. Sometimes you can fix it. These programs can fix when uh, some models are not done really well. But Cheetobox didn't detect anything. And in Litchi, it detected completely all the fails, all the holes. So I'm, I knew that was really the model and that's why not imprinted, not even the base, because it was really bad. Just so you know that that happened. That's why I love more Litch. That they have their pro version that they probably had a lot of more tools. Something weird happened. And it happened to me in the past. I'm gonna show you this Vegeta. But um, the supports fuse. If you know why, please comment below. And I'm, I'm saying why because I printed with other pieces and other pieces had supports, but their supports were perfect. It has happened in the past that if they're overexposed, they will fuse. But uh, every single piece on the, on the vet, this is the first time that only one turned out this way. So like I mentioned before, I would like to know if you have the answer, please comment below. And, um, but I did some, they're amazing details. I can tell right away the difference between the 2K that I had and the 12K. I'm going to put some photos so you can see. And this is really important that I wanted to, to share is that uh, I use a regular resin and I use the setting fast printing. And just to let you know, there's a lot of printers that they can print faster nowadays, but they require the fast resin. Because the fat resin is not that thick like regular resin. So that make it that you can print faster. So for this one, to be able to print, and I've seen people printing with resin that is not fast on a fast printing setting, it just doesn't work. Uh, maybe someone can make it work, but most of the time I've seen that they fail. They really need the fast printing resin. I, I was just surprised. I was just surprised that I use just a simple, the most cheap resin I could find for this test. And I was amazed. I was able to print. There it is, my prints. 
And one other thing that I want to say is that, um, like I mentioned before, maybe it was the resin, but when I was doing Cheetah Box and Lichi, they will all tell me that I, it will print in uh, certain hours. When I put it in the printer, the printer will tell me it will be like two hours. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. It's really, really fast. But when it was printing later on, it was telling me that I had left six hours. <laughs> so for sure, uh, and that was on the biggest piece. The other ones were three or four, so they're still not that bad. But I'm pretty sure with the resin, the fat resin, it will print faster. I printed another one, this giant Brawley, but uh, it's not that big. One other thing, if you have been following my channel, that I have my hollow one, but also I have the Anacubic curing station. And it was tiny because I had a tiny printer, you know, the vet of the printer even was able to go completely inside the curing station. With this one, they don't recommend to put it completely inside just to worry about the bed because the second component, it can get inside uh, any solution and you don't want that. I'm going to show you photos, but uh, I was barely able to take these dragons off the plates, put it inside the vat, and then just hold this piece and um, I fill it up completely so I cover the feet. And then later on, I, I, I did it, uh, I just cleaned the feet just to make sure that everything was clean. But I was surprised that uh, it works, it worked completely. I can use my Anacubic, even if I'm not that happy about this one. It didn't turn out the best, so I was impressed. So now one thing that I have to say that I want really, really to share is that I bought this. This is a metal plate. This metal plate comes with a magnet. It comes with this thing that I peel it off and I glue it to my bed. This is amazing because I can print, just bend it and the print will pop out and, and I'll have my prints. One downside is that uh, you have to tell the printer, you have to download a file to tell the printer, you know what, I'm adding this to the bed. And this is really useful and I really recommend to have it. I haven't tried it yet because like I mentioned before, I have to install the file. I have to do some tests, but uh, using the really, really sharp spatula, I was trying to remove this kind of fidget toy that uh, it didn't have any support, it was just on the bed. So when I was trying to take it out completely, I ruined it and I damaged the piece. And one of the worst thing is I also damaged the bed. Yeah, you want to protect your printer, you want to take out uh, and have flat surfaces and don't worry about having supports on the bottom, get a plate. I'm gonna do some tries and in the future, I'm gonna probably tell you how I did it. But um, I just wanna share the possibility that you can do. Probably I'm missing something. I know it has been a long video, but overall I use it with not putting any settings. So for someone new, this is just amazing. My first hollowed one, I wasted two bottles, completely two bottles without being able to print anything of course I was a beginner but this one just out of the box I turn it on I put my resin and I print it wow I just cannot believe that I haven't to do anything and I was able to print like I said again this is an amazing resin printer I want to share of course this is not the biggest probably I can add like two more inches on this new printer this is the biggest that my hollowed one used to print so you can see the difference is not much I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to make it see how I can do the biggest without cutting and I'm gonna do one of the biggest weight cut parts but that one is gonna take a long time so I don't know when that will be also enjoy my other printing videos and why not my sculpting ones enjoy art if you have any questions please let me know subscribe and see you next time